So I'm going to be showing us another way of producing plum oil. This is another species of Dacryodis edulis. Dacryod edulis. The scientific name of plum. So I'm going to be showing us another method of producing the oil. You just take the plum, open it, and then we are going to do our dry. We are going to be drying it on the fire because we are here in Boya in the southwest region of Cameroon. There is no sun, absolutely no sun. If you look at the weather now, everywhere is just foggy and rainy. So we don't have sun in August. So we are going to use the pot. It's a local way and simple way of extracting our oil. Okay, this is it on the fire and the flames is extremely low so I'm just like trying to dry it so. so I'll continue like this until it will become soft. The essence is to remove all the water in the plum, in the dark root, and remain only with the paste and oil. So it will just continue. You know, if you have to do this, you don't need to be in a hurry. This can take me about an hour plus or two hours. As you drink it gently so that it doesn't burn. You start having something like that off the gas and continue. Right, see now it's the whole form of a paste. And if you watch, see the way it's glittering, like the heat seems to be a little bit much actually of the gas because it's not supposed to be overcooked. I'm just drying it, actually, extracting, I'm actually draining the oil so that. I'm draining the water, sorry. Drying out the water so that we'll have just the oil. If you look at it, it's not too hot, you know. It's not too hot. See my palms. See my finger. Spoiler. Wow, wow, wow. So it's now ready. See, it's dry, it's just like pretty. So I'm now going to take it the same procedure, I'll put it on a cloth and squeeze out the oil. Look at it. I put in the cloth and I'm squeezing it. You see, there's a difference between this method and the other method. The oil seems to be very clear right here, not very dark. You see the oil. It's a bit hot. So I'll do the rest behind the camera.